okay let me quickly review what we did this is about color first color blue respiratory problem cardiovascular problem yellow jaundice neuropathy nerve injury two-tone color kidney liver and also heart and black line cancer white spot zinc shape club and spoon club respiratory and cardiovascular and spoon iron deficiency and third lines and ridges both line what causes both line severe disease especially with a high heat high fever misline toxin arsenic and mercus line low albumin vertical lines mm, just age and pitting psoriasis vertical line and pitting both are related to psoriasis and pitting also alopecia the title is nail as a mirror of the body nail as a mirror of the body because nail can represent whole body system so it can be a diagnostic tool for our whole system tongue does that too and purse does that too and nail can be a very good tool to see whole body before we start we need a little bit of a knowledge about anatomy do you know this nail bed free edge lunula cuticle do you know these terms then first this is nail plate actually your nail and lunula this is lunula nail plate and nail bed and lunula and cuticle and we will talk about the nail colors and there are different colors regarding nail blue nail what Tong Yubogam says about blue nail the patient will die when the patient have blue nails and yellow nails and two-tone nails and black lines and milk spot and those are topics I will cover and uh, second thing is shape there are two shapes club shape and spoon shape this is literally club club and spoon and lines and ridges and there are four actually there is one more vertical lines so goes line mise line murky's line pitting and vertical lines so, so maybe you don't know about these things but i will explain everything so let's start with talking about colors there are five five different colors which is related to your health blue yellow two-tone and black vertical line and white spot white spot vertical line two-tone blue and yellow first blue this is blue nail blue nail quite different from this picture blue nail first one this is a circulation so blue and pale nail means there is less of oxygen so what this fact represent chronic respiratory disease isn't it obvious very straightforward and COPD emphysema asthma pneumonia those are all respiratory diseases and congenital heart failure and Raynaud's syndrome Raynaud's syndrome is a disease they have a extremely pro blood blood circulation to the extremities so all these diseases can produce pale and blue nails so if you observe this kind of nail color then you need to suspect these diseases which induce pro circulation poor delivery of oxygen to the extremity mostly lung disease and heart disease lung disease heart disease respiratory cardiovascular diseases okay please remember this it's simple blue respiratory cardiovascular diseases because that is the problem of oxygen who make the oxygen lung who deliver the oxygen heart the next one is yellow nail so this is the actual picture first thing you can think is jaundice and second 
because you should remember is nerve injury, median and ulnar nerve injury, median nerve, ulnar nerve, median nerve, ulnar nerve. When they have an injury, neuropathy, severe neuropathy, patient can have a tingling and numbness in their fingers, and also there can be a change of the colors. So when the patient with the Carpalton syndrome have a change of nail to the yellow, you need to expect very severe nerve injury. Yellow nail can be a sign of jaundice and nerve injury. And diabetes, diabetes can make a neuropathy too. Two-tone nails, two-tone nails. And this is a two-tone nail. And this is called Terry's nail. Terry's nail. This, this is men's nail. Terry's nail. And you can see in this part, pink-brown transverse band. This is a typo. 0.5 to 3 millimeter. So height width you can say width or height is not that wide or high and rest of nail plate looks white and lunula may or may not be present because this area turns very white lunula cannot be observed easily so even if there is lunra, it is hard to tell the differentiation, the boundaries. This is two tone. So historically, 1954. So it is quite old, 1954. So who discovered this terrier? So that is the reason why we call terrier's nail. From which patient? Hepatic cirrhosis. Hepatic cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis. A two out of a hundred patients. So it is quite large number considering the time period, 1955. So narrow pink brown segment and distal border. So narrow pink brown on distal border. Uh, so nail bed causing apparent, apparent whiteness of fingernail. These, these are the two important features. Whiteness of fingernail and brown segment and occurrence in cirrhosis of liver and some other conditions. And this is an actual description from 1954. Let's see. Fully developed white nails exhibit ground glass-like opacity of almost entire nail bed. Almost entire nail bed. It's very white, too white and too shiny. It extends from base of nail, from base of nail, where the lunar line is indistinguishable. So even if there is, it is very hard to distinguish because nail is so white. To within one or two millimeters of distal border of nail, leaving a distal John normal pink. This is the thin brown horizontal line. The condition is bilaterally symmetrical with a tendency to be more marked in thumb and forefinger. Isn't it interesting? And this is from the article, Terry's Nail, A Window to Syst Systemic Disease. American Journal of Medicine, they explained like this. this. So this is old one and this is the contemporary one modern day description. Decrease in vascularity and increase in connective tissue within the nail bed. So because increase the connective tissue it looks white. And decrease vascularity looks white. And 80% of patients with severe disease have caries nail. So it's quite a uh, large number. But they are also found in people with kidney failure and heart failure too. So kidney, heart, and liver. Kidney, heart, and liver. Right? Please remember, liver, kidney. Liver, kidney is most important. Terry's nail, remember liver. And 
and diabetes also associated with terrorism. So, chronic heart failure and diabetes and pulmonary, pulmonary tuberculosis, pegorec, and rheumatoid arthritis, hepatitis, sclerosis, renal failure, cancer. So many other factors, even including age, can be related to terrorist nail. But one thing you should remember is, what is it? Liver. So liver is the most important cause of terrorist nail. So you can forget all the rest of them, but always remember liver. So if you see the patient with the nails like this, what do you suspect? Liver disease, especially liver cirrhosis. What if the spider veins, that is very conclusive sign of liver cirrhosis, spider veins and teres nail? So please remember, this is not that complicated. And this is the actual case of teres, teres nail. 60 year old man, liver cirrhosis, associated with hepatitis B, viral infection. So virus, viral hepatitis B is very common in Korea. And physical examination shows uniform abnormality of the fingernail. All of his fingernails revealed this thin brown pink transverse band, very narrow, 0.5 to 2 millimeter. So here it is. This is his finger, his fingernails. And this man, 64. glass like white nail bed and thin lines with brown and pink but Lindsay's nail is different because it has 20% to 60% of nail bed which is red and brown but Terry's nail this part is extremely small like 0.5 millimeter or 2 millimeter 3 millimeter right do you remember but 20 to 60% so please remember this way. Actually, Lindsay's nail is also called, called half and half. Half and half. Okay? Half and half. Half. So 50% is white and 50% is brown. That is Lindsay's nail. And does not fade with pressure. Does not fade with pressure. Pressure does not change the color. This condition can be found up to 40% of patients of chronic kidney disease. So a portion is different between those two, Lindsay's nail and Terry's nail. And this condition is frequently associated with cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis. So that is the reason I asked you to remember kidney and liver, kidney and liver. And this is Lindsay's nail, Lindsay's nail. You can see the two-tone color, but white part is smaller than Terry's nail. It looks like a Terry's nail. Uh, different fingers you can see, almost half and half portion. So this, as you can see here, Lindsay's nail or half and half nail. Characterized by proximal nail bed whiteness and distal nail bed red and pink or brown bed occupying 20 to 60 percent of nail bed and this is the from the article terry's nails and lindsay's nails two nail abnormality in chronic systematic disease mm. interesting isn't it so i compared those two lindsay's nail and this is man's name terry's nail terry's nail and lindsay's nail which one is liver? What this one? Is this kidney or liver? So, lenses and teres. Kidney and liver. And next one is uh, black vertical line. So, this kind of line here is very strange. Here is an interesting story. A woman has shared a Facebook warning, warning, warning. 
Lisa Harrison Williams always tells a woman what beauty salon with the dark vertical stripes. Stripe. A stripe. Thinking it was just lack of calcium, a blood blister. So I'm didn't think it seriously, and but it turned out to be a cancer, melanoma cancer. Isn't it quite shocking? So this is the pictures from the article. This is written by Korean authors. Assessment of predictive scoring model for dermoscopy of uh, melanoma in situ. Thermoscopy. We will study about this. And this was a very interesting article, and it was published in JAMA Family Article Dermatology. And you can you can see many stripes here, and it is more likely melanoma. But if you see just one line, it is more likely melanonychia. Nicia is means nail, and melano means black. So melanonychia, you, it is not a serious condition, but this melanoma is a cancer you need to treat right away. And there are some other features you need to focus is this part. Melanoma has a very dark and very clear blank line around the cuticle. But melanonychia you can see diminishing black line close to cuticle. So what does this mean? In case of melanoma, it is developing, getting larger. So this is the, where the nails start to grow. So this part has a dark and very clear dark lines. But melanonychia and you can see because it is going away because it is going away diminishing you can see lighter color and uh, another factor you need to focus is and this lines getting thicker and darker that is the sign of melanoma but melanonychia is usually going away it goes away so two different things so first one volume thickness and color darkness and thickness first thing and second is it clear around the cuticle and third is it getting bigger or it is going away that is three things you need to examine you need to focus to differentiate melanoma or melanonychia and melanoma typically black stripes from subungual melanoma will darken widen with time so that means it progress it get worsen darken or widen uh, sometimes painful if they have a, this kind of symptoms they will go to the doctor so just forget it so darken and widen and extend to area fingernail meets the cuticle this is the second factor you need to focus fingernail meet cuticle this is known as a Hutchinson's, Hutchinson's sign. And also increasing at the bottom of the nails. And same thing. And you can see around the cuticle. Bottom means around the cuticle. Milk spot. This is actual milk spot. Maybe some of you have this milk spot. Please observe your fing fingernail. Probably you will see. This is milk spot. Many people have it, so if this is not a problem, it's so leuco, leukemia, leuco, leukocyte. This means white. Nisha means nail, so white nail. Most common caused by minor injury, like a biting. So it can happen to anybody. Because we are male, but one thing I want to remember is zinc deficiency. If the patient have a many white spots, milk spot on their fingernail, uh, you need to increase the patient to take take more micronutrient like oysters. 
So milk spot usually considered as a normal, especially the spot is limited one or two fingers, but the milk spot is all around their 10 nails. First thing you need to suspect is zinc, and later maybe heart problems or kidney problems. Or other heavy metal toxication. So second, let's talk about shape. And this shape, club, and spoon is well known to well known in medical history because this is called Hippocrates finger. Have you ever heard that? Hippocrates, Socrates, Aristotle, Hippocrates. Am I right? Hippocrates. Because Hippocrates discovered this strange finger nail for the first time, and maybe not the, for the first time, he was the one recorded with a written word in his book. So a Hippocrates nail, and this is called club, nail clubbing, which is called nail clubbing. So usually nails should be shaped like convex and flat. Do you know the term convex and concave? This is convex. In Chinese letter, we write this way. And this is concave. We write this way. Concave, convex. So everything is convex. And open a plate. And round. And it's shaped like cloud. And this is cloud. 아닌 밤 중에 홍두깨. 홍두깨 is the Korean translation of club. I think that is very accurate counterpart. So normally, when you make your two fingers face each other, it should be able to. They should be able to meet in the end, right? But with the clubbing, your fingernails cannot meet because roundness. Convex nail tip. So let your patient do this, and if they cannot make this, those fingernails meet each other, that is the sign of clubbing, nail clubbing. My case, I cannot make meet my those fingernails with this posture. I can't. So I need to attach whole fingers. Then I can make it meet. But when they have a thin club nail, they should be like this. They cannot meet together. All right? So here's a gap. Nail clubbing. And what is the cause? Heart and lung disease. Heart and lung disease. Same reason, same cause. Lack of oxygen, lack of oxygen. Like, same reason, same cause with blue nail. Blue nail and clubbing has the same cause, lack of oxygen. So lung cancer, lung infection, interstitial lung disease, fibrosis, cardiovascular disease. See? Same causes inducing blue nails. So hypertrophic and another reason beside this cardiovascular disease and pulmonary respiratory disease is hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. Hypertrophic. Hyper means hyper, so over proliferation, over pro proliferation, osteoarthropathy. So this is a change of the osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease. So two reasons, two causes with the nail clubbing. And this is a picture of osteoarthritis, osteoarthropathy, pathy, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, pathy. Hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. Arthropathy, osteo, arthro. Osteo means bone, and arthro means joint. Hypertrophic, excessive proliferation. So characterized by excessive proliferation of skin and bone at the distal part of extremity. So this is HOA, and this is one of the cause of clubbing nail, beside respiratory problems and cardiovascular problem. So mostly, these clubbing nails will be pale and blue.
because lack of oxygen. And second one about shape is supernail, and this is called colonitia. Surface of nail plate is concave. So if you see this picture here, yeah, concave, concave, concave. Normal, normal. Um, the three fingers, you can see easily the concave surface. What do you think is the reason of this super nail? Supun is made of iron, right? Steel, iron. So super nail is iron deficiency. Super nail. Supun is made of iron. So super nail caused by iron deficiency. Supun and club. Supun respiratory problems, cardio problems, and osteoarthropathy with excessive proliferation. Remember three, cardiovascular, lack, lack of oxygen, and arthritis. And club, just one, iron deficiency, anemia, anemia. And third, we did color, and second, shape, and third, lines and ridges, or lines and ridges lines and ridges so pitting and bose line mes line mercus line so we'll cover this five bose mes mercus vertical lines and pitting first horizontal lines horizontal lines and there's they're all horizontal lines can you see this this line and lines here lines here and bose line mes line and mercus line uh, Bose line is not actually color change, but this is a change of shape. So this, this one look, they are look like a line, but actually they are groove. So grooves, they are ridges. So this is different, but these two things are color change. So surface is even. Surface is even. So when you touch it, this bose line, you can feel the dent, dent. But these two, mis line, mercus line, you cannot feel any dent, but you can see it. That means this is a color change. So no groove with mis line and mercus line. And location, it is the location of pathology lies in nail plate. And mis line, and this color change is located at nail plate and nail bed this is on a nail bed not the nail plate so it is happening below beneath the nail plate so this is a simple quiz so this line is happening on a nail plate not a nail bed you know the difference between nail bed and nail plate right that is the reason i covered anatomy of nail so Mis line is in a lay pl nail plate. So do you think it will move with the nail growth? Do you? It's a simple math, not a math, simple reasoning. The pathology is in a nail plate. So when the nail grow, when the nail grow, this mark lines will move. Does that make sense? Does that? Yes, because it is in a nail, nail plate. But Mercus line, the pathology is located at nail bed. So it has nothing to do with the growth of nail plate. So this line does not, these lines do not move. Am I clear with this? If you have a question, please ask me. Uh, also, here's one more quiz then. Mis line. Mercus line, you press the fingers, fingernails, with other finger. Do you think these lines will diminish? And like uh, when you press it hard, it turns white, right? The blue, the, the pink, pinkish nail will turn white when you press hard, just temporarily, right? So what do you think, mis line? Do you think the mis line? will turn to white with the pressure. How about the Mercus line? 
which line will turn to white? Both of them, second mid line, third Mercus line. This will not move and color will change because the pathology in a nail bed, not in a nail plate. Nail plate color change is just like a manicure. It does not change. If, if No matter how much pressure you did, the colors in a nail plate, it will not change. That is the differentiation tool. Very important differentiation tool. So it, does it move or does it change with pressure? Not absolute tool, but you can differentiate misline and Mercus line with those factors. So color change, blues line, of course, it changes, turns to white. And maze line does not change. And Mercus line, it changes. So blues line, this is the growth problem. When the nail growth, people, the patient, have a very severe disease like coronavirus or Kawasaki disease or high fever disease or chemotherapy when they suffer from those high fever and severe disease the nail growth is affected so temporarily nails start to grow so remnant of bone is considered as a nail in oriental medicine right if there's no remnant remaining of materials your nails will just drop or dry or stop to grow that is the cause of bow's line so what makes the bow's line severe disease severe chronic disease or severe high fever disease make the bow's line so we can explain Bose line with just one word. Severe fever disease affecting the growth of the bone. Clear? This, these are the system, systemic, systemic cause and localized problem will, can be eczema or fungi inflammation or bacteria inflammation. Anything can make Bose line. And third, Mise line. Mise line is usually associated with heavy metal poisoning. So we can forget about Ms. line. We will not see much of this patient. But Mercus line is related to hypoalbuminemia. That means lower level of albumin, protein in your blood. So what caused the lower level of protein? Just two things. First, you eat extremely small amount malnutrition like uh, extreme weight loss with a carbohydrate oriented diet so you just stop all the fat and meat red meat then you are lack of protein you are getting lack of protein then albumin level can be lowered or malnutrition can be a first cause what is the second cause this is about intake and second cause is expanding renal failure so when you have a kidney problems protein cannot be reabsorbed so that is the reason they examine protein level with the kidney disease BUN creatinine and protein so when the protein is going out through the urine that is the severe sign of kidney disease so when you have a kidney problem protein will be wasted so that is the cause of hypoalbuminemia Mercus line can be the sign of a renal failure and first let's start from Bose line these are the Bose line and actually this is groove groove and you can see here you can see the groove here right this is booze line so what does that mean they stopped growing at a certain point temporarily in this case this one is no localized reason uh, peronychia is the infection of the nail bed so this was the localized reason but with a systemic reason like high fever disease you can make this kind of booze line and several fingers so you can see 
this groove here, right? This is Bose line. This is a Bose line. What does this mean, Bose line? Severe fever disease or chemotherapy. Anyway, the patient will need tonifying medication when they have this kind of nail plate. So both lines are horizontal and transverse depression. Depression means dent and grooves. And phenomena was originally described 1846. So it's kind of history lesson, 1846. Uh, it is just like uh, oriental medicine, traditional medicine. French physician Joseph Bull. So malnutrition, heart attack, liver disease, any kind of severe disease can make this Bose line. And also chemotherapy. Intermittent doses of immunosuppressive therapy like uh, transplantable organs. And chemotherapy can make a Bose line. And also zinc deficiency. What was the cult what was induced by zinc deficiency? What? In the color. White spot? Yes. Thank you very much. And cause the Bose line. So zinc deficiency is kind of white card too. But in the Bose line, please remember disease, especially heat. Fever. More of the depth of line provide a clue to severity of lines. So if the dent, the groove is deep, you can see they suffered from very severe disease. High fever, zinc deficiency. Only remember these two, maybe when chemotherapy. These are the possible diseases you can consider. And diabetes is actually a wild card for the nail problems. When the patient have a nail deformity or color change, diabetes can be a reason of any kind of uh, changes in the nail. But I told you, please remember that high fever disease. And this is mesline. line. So it looks like a dent, but actually this surface will be even, very smooth. So there is no dent. But you can see white lines here. This is a mesline. line. And this picture is more clear, clearer. You can see three lines here. And it is in a nail plate. So it will grow. So it will move forward. And Leukonychia striata. So striata means this kind of the chu, ketching, strophite, striata. It's a stripe. So Leuko means white. So white, white lines. So a change that occurs in the color of nail with no palpable ridges. That means no ridges, no dent, no groove. And white transverse band. And it was discovered 1901, 1904. But it was first written in 1990 by Dutch physician Mies. So this is the important of publication. So he's the one who published about Mies line. So it was named after Mies. So please focus on this apostrophe. Apostrophe is not here. Okay? At the end of Mies. So his name was Mies, not me. The Mies line usually appears two to three weeks after exposure to arsenic. Other thallium and other heavy metal can be cause of misline. And this picture is from article by Korean author, American Journal of Medicine. So the first one is Bose line and this one is misline. So here's a dent. And this is smooth, but you can see the three lines here. Uh, this is an interesting case, 73 years old and 62 years old. So you can see how old they are. And he was a cancer patient and both of them were cancer patients. Prostate cancer, sarcoma. 
And last one, Mercus line. Mercus line. And you can see very similar line with the Mies line. So it will be kind of hard to differentiate Mies line and Mercus line. So you need to be cautious. First, try to press it and ask the patient if it, the lines will move have been moving or not. So there's two lines. Sometimes it will be hard to notice. Maybe even patient themselves cannot notice this. See how subtle they are. And even if they noticed, but they just many chance they just ignore them. It looks just nothing. But you need to find it. You need to find out. So uh, those white lines. So you need to be very mindful when you see the patient. So Mercus lines appear as double white lines that runs across fingernails horizontally. And condition is named after Robert Merke, MD. He first described this 1956. Cause albumin. And chemotherapy. Chemotherapy can be a wild card too because it makes really hard time for the patient and kidney disease, so albumin, kidney disease, liver disease, cirrhosis, and diet. But please only remember low albumin. That is the cause of this Mercus line. Low albumin, two cause, dietary problem and kidney problem. And characteristic, mm, horizontal line. Nail bed look, nail bed look healthy. Lines do not move. Do not cause dent. Uh, press down. Line temporarily disappear. That irreg ir irregularity. That lines in a nail bed, not the nail plate. So temporarily, when you press it down, no blood in the nail bed. That makes total white nail bed, temporary, but that change will happen, not like mise line. So these are the differentiation point with the mise line. Okay? And vertical lines. Actually, I have a lot of vertical lines. Almost as severe as this picture. I have a very severe vertical lines, hundred of them. And just like this patient, I do not have a lunar and I have very irregular cuticle. What do you think? What is the sign of that? What is the sign? I strongly believe this is the sign of indefiniency. So this cuticle is dried, uh, vertical lines almost my whole fingers, fingernails. These vertical lines are usually a natural consequence of aging, so I'm too old. Uh, some of you have these vertical lines. I hope not. So usually considered as harmless. So I can have this, harmless, and it is a result of aging. But please remember this, serious. 25, one-fourth of them and half of them have this kind of vertical lines psoriasis patient have this vertical lines one fourth and half and you, you don't have to remember these things but please remember psoriasis and ask the patient if they have a psoriasis or other skin lesions, skin problems they may not be noticed with the psoriasis and some of the patients are not that well educated in blood deficiency and pitting and I had this pitting in my fingernails too but now I cannot find anything but this was one of my problems too another th psoriasis and it can vary depth and amount usually present in psoriasis and also associated with arthritis. It is related to the immune problem. Uh, alopecia areta. 
You know what it is. It is a patch to hair loss. 원형 탈모증. So when you see the patient with the peeling, you need to ask if they have a arthritis, or psoriasis, or alopecia. All those problems are related to the immune system. And what they can do with this kind of things in Western medicine, they can do nothing. Actually, there's very little things they can do, and they will just ignore them. But in oriental medicine, those are really, can be really important clue. So you need to enhance the immune system with those patients with pitting. So these tools are really important, especially in oriental medicine. Maybe ancient doctors, Chinese doctors, Korean doctors found out this kind of article. If I hand it, it down to them, they will take it very preciously with a very much of concern they will make it a treasure and they'll write them in their ancient oriental medical books what do you think this is just fact not the theory so they will write that in their book and they try they will try to interpret this fact based on oriental medicine and that is what we need to do so these are the wild cards of the nail deformity or color change, trauma, injury around the nail can make any kind of different the color change and deformity. And biting can be cause of trauma. And paronychia, nail infection, infection around nails, fungus or bacteria can make deformity or eczema. Eczema is a something like inflammation of the skin. So inflammation without cause allergy response and aging those are wild card but we are focusing on other systematic system systemic diseases so these are the first thing you need to screening out screen out you need to screen out rule out so ask them if they bite or they have an injury or infection if they're is no sign of any of this kind of wild card that can those deformity and color changes can be a sign of important systemic diseases so that is the reason I call this lecture mirror to your body okay let me quickly review what we did this is about color first color blue respiratory problem cardiovascular problem yellow jaundice neuropathy nerve injury two-tone color kidney liver and also heart and black line cancer white spot zinc shape club and spoon club respiratory and cardiovascular and spoon iron deficiency and Third, lines and ridges, both line. What causes both line? Severe disease, especially with a high heat, high fever. Mis line, toxin, arsenic. And mercus line, low albumin. Vertical lines, mm, just age. And pitting, psoriasis. Vertical line and pitting, both are related to psoriasis. And pitting, also alopecia. I quickly summarize in a 30 second and this is take home message for you regarding nails okay please just remember these things and if you are interested more then read the two articles I posted on a properly those are original articles and this presentation files okay let's take a break and see you at 8.30 see you at 8.30